So sometimes these battery terminals here can be really loose, especially on our Honda Pilot. So you can buy the lead shims. You get them at the auto parts store for about four bucks for two of them. We have a piece of lead here that we got from an old car battery that we melted down. We're gonna try cutting some of this, a piece of this off with a hacksaw and then using that as the shim. So let's go ahead and cut a piece off of this lead. And since it's lead, it'll cut pretty easy and fast. Or if we wanna cut through it a little faster, we could use a Sawzall just to cut through it fast. So whenever we were cutting through here, it was actually kind of a challenge because there's different materials. It's not pure lead, it's an alloy and it actually took some time to cut through. Pure lead cuts very fast, but we have it down now where we can just break this off since it still is pretty soft. That should just come right off. There we go. And now we're gonna try to pound this out into kind of a pancake and then we can get into the shape of a shim. So the alloys in this lead just makes it really hard to work with. It would take way too long to try to pound that out flat. So we have some copper fittings here this one is a little bit big on there, but we're able to you know, cut it down, cut a little slot in it so it'll crimp down on there. This one's too small, but copper is a good conductor and that should work pretty so now we'll make the cuts. So we'll make one cut there and then one cut probably about a quarter inch away and then that'll let it crimp together. There we go. So that's the size we want. We can just straighten this up real quick and then go ahead and put it on the car. So with everything all cleaned up, I have this all scored with the sandpaper and cleaned up on the inside there. We can go ahead and put this on the terminal there and at least just try to crimp it with your hand if you can. And then we'll just loosen up this terminal here so it'll fit over. With the copper piece on there, we can tap it down just to make sure it's seated. And then we can take this and slide it over. And that just barely fits. It has a nice tight connection and that's what we're looking for. Now we can go ahead and tighten up the bolt right here so that we'll really get a better connection. So now this is nice and tight, we're snugging it up, and that's what we want it to feel like. It's really grabbing onto that battery terminal, so right there it feels good. And that's a good connection, we're shaking the whole battery, so that's what we want. Now we can go ahead and put the negative on, and as you can, when we were working with there, there was no arcs, which really helped. Now we can go ahead and put this one on. So now we have both battery terminals on here, and they're both nice and tight so this is a good connection now so we can go ahead and put some like this rubber piece back over here just like that if we can't even get it to fit there we go so now the battery is all ready to go ahead and try starting so without any charging or jumping we'll see if that fixed it see if it'll start we were close but not quite there so we'll have to now jump we can go ahead and jump it and once we jump it, we are gonna have to charge it with the actual battery charger, but we just need to get this started and then the alternator will also charge the battery. So we'll just connect this up, just like that. And I think we'll turn this here to on and then try to start the car. So now with the jumper cables on, we're gonna try to start it. Nice. Now let's go ahead and take off the jumper cables. So now we can turn this off and take off the battery terminals and the car is started. So we'll let the alternator charge the battery but then once we're done we'll go ahead and take this charger and make sure the battery is topped off from where it should be. So we'll have this just charge the battery up until it's all the way topped off and then we'll be ready to get, get this back on the road. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.